Hey Inner Beauties! It's Aria, and welcome back to What's In It Beauty, where we get to the core of skincare. Together, we'll analyze our favorite beauty products, one ingredient at a time, so we can make better informed choices for our well-being, inside and out. Let's discover what's actually in our everyday personal care items on a deeper level, not just for its face value and what it's advertised for. It's time to be aware of the countless chemicals our bodies may be taking in through dermal absorption. And since everyone has a different body burden threshold, we'll never know when potential diseases may start to manifest. Today, we'll look at Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the finish, Distortion. This water-based eyeliner is packed with super fine iridescent glitter that you can build to sparkle up any look you desire, which is perfect for the holidays and for ringing in the new year. Curious about what's in it? Let's find out! From my research on potential moderate to high hazardous ingredients, we first have propylene glycol, which is a synthetic agent used to absorb extra water and maintain moisture in cosmetics. It has a reputation as a skin irritant and allergen and may cause contact dermatitis in sensitive people. Next, we have sodium hydroxide, used to control the pH levels in cosmetics and personal care products, from soaps and shampoos to hair dyes and nail polish, just to name a few. It's also a known skin and eye irritant, so people with sensitivities should take precaution. Phenylxiethanol, a chemical preservative that's used to prolong the shelf life of a product and known to cause contact dermatitis. This ingredient can also act as a stabilizer for perfumes and colognes. And lastly, we have the entire paraben family. Methylparaben, ethylparaben, butylparaben, isobutylparaben, and propylparaben are all chemical preservatives widely used to also prolong the shelf life of many cosmetic and personal care products. Unfortunately, parabens may act as endocrine disruptors by mimicking estrogens in women, androgens in men, as well as thyroid hormones. And here are the rest of the low hazard ingredients listed in Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Distortion. So, what are your thoughts? I am usually a makeup minimalist, but I do enjoy dressing up my eyes during the holidays, and this eyeliner packs a punch when it comes to glitter quality and staying power. I have Distortion, a beautiful spectrum of iridescent glitters suspended in a clear gel, and I apply it above my winged cat eye for a bit of festive glam. I also use the side of the brush to sweep a bit of the glitz on top of my eyelids for that extra glimmer. But of course, now that we're aware that all the members of the entire family of hormone-mimicking parabens are used in this eyeliner, I prefer to decorate around my eyes instead of actually lining my eye and water lines since I don't want to take a chance of any harmful chemicals entering my body. There's no smell, and the glitter particles are super fine, of very high quality, and once the gel base completely dries, the glitters stay put and remain so all day and night long. The applicator is divinely thin-tipped, allowing me extreme precision when drawing my lines. When ringing in the new year where I really want a bolder look, I remove the wiper piece here and shake the tube on my fingertips to get more product. Here's an extra tip. If the tube is lower with product, feel free to shake the tube to get the glitter. If the tube is fuller, skip this part and just pop the wiper piece back on. Why do you ask? Because this happens! This will be more than enough product for both eyes, so hopefully this will help you not to waste too much glitter if you decide to use it this way. You can also tap the tube down to get the glitter to settle in lower before popping the wiper back on to prevent wastage. It's absolutely wonderful that I can either use a wee bit for that subtle twinkle or build up to the point where I can sparkle like a disco ball. Another plus is that it washes off very easily, and I always make sure to gently cleanse my eye area as thoroughly as possible to wash off all the chemical preservatives off my face. Just as long I decorate around my eyes instead of into my eyes, I truly don't mind using this during the holidays for that festive sparkle. So what's your verdict? Have you had a good or bad experience with this glitter eyeliner? 
and my purpose of creating this channel is to connect with the health conscious where we discuss and learn together about the efficacy and potential hazards in the beauty and personal products that we all use daily. So I truly hope that this information was helpful for you to decide whether to buy or continue using Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. Be smart, be beautiful, and be well, all at the same time. If you would be so kind, please help me grow by liking, commenting, and sharing my videos to your friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to join our health conscious community so you won't miss future analysis videos. That's it for now, inner beauties. See you all in the next video.